to do my TED Talk on why we should encourage activism. I'm sure you've heard a lot of things on the news about the Black Lives Matter movement, with the North Dakota Access Pipeline and the Native tribes who are protesting it. Last year, we heard about the marches and parades for same-sex marriage. My point is, you are always hearing about people standing up and voicing their opinions. I think it's a wonderful thing, and I wish everybody had the courage to do it. What I really wanted to talk about, though, was the fact that being an activist is discouraged, especially among younger children and teens. All our lives, people tell us that we should stand up for what we believe or defend those who can't defend themselves. But it seems like if we aren't talking about bullying, then those ideals completely change. How many times have you been watching activists on TV and your parents say that they hope you never act like those people? My question is, what's so bad about bringing attention to an issue that matters as long as you do it peacefully? Why is it okay to stand up for ourselves on a small scale, but not when others are watching us? Why can't we be brave and stand up for what we believe in and try to change our world? All through school, students are basically trained to be quiet and complacent. I mean, toddlers are being diagnosed with ADHD, which is Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. Of course, children are of course toddlers are hyperactive. They're toddlers. Children are being medicated for something that they inherently are. We shouldn't question anything, and when we do, we get told that's just the way it is. We aren't supposed to question things, just accept them as they are. We are taught to never speak out against our parents and teachers, or really anybody who's older than us. What if they're wrong? You remain quiet because you know there's old people so stuck in their ways. Then these same people tell us there's no point in trying to change things because nobody will ever pay attention. I completely reject that idea. You can make people listen. You can gather people with the same beliefs and you can cause a change. Something I don't think pe that people realize is that there are different types of activism. There are so many ways to protest, but activism is more than just protesting something. It's also about bringing awareness to a subject. I recently went to a JDRF walk. For those of you who don't know what JDRF is, it's an organization that raises money and awareness for type 1 diabetes. I was amazed by the amount of people I saw there. Walking in solidarity with so many other people who have experienced what I've been through was so eye-opening for me. I think that it's an opportunity that other people should have. It was a really big motivator for me to see other T1Ds who have had no choice but to learn how to incorporate diabetes into their everyday life. This really highlights how important it is to bring awareness to issues. Not only do those people who are unfamiliar with the subject get to learn about it, but people who are already involved need to meet a community of people with the same interest. When my family first participated in the, in the JDRF walk, there were probably around 100 teams. That was when I was two years old. 14 years later, I walked with close to 1,000 teams, not to mention all the teams that participated in other walks across the country. It's a pretty good real life example of how to use activism to raise awareness for a subject. I think another thing worth mentioning is how when kids become advocates or something, it helps them break away from that typical teenager stereotype. When teens are passionate about something, it gives us a chance to show that we are not just lazy and apathetic. There seems to be this assumption that teenagers don't care about anything but their phones and what's happening on social media. That isn't always the case. If we teach our youth that speaking out and standing up is okay, you would see so many more kids going out and getting involved. You would see us being passionate and outspoken. We care more than we are given credit for. Personally, I have a lot of friends who want to change our schools. I'm not talking about no homework and longer weekends and stuff like that. I'm talking about a dress code that doesn't favor guys, or school lunches that are healthy and taste like food. The stuff that's important to us right now as high schoolers. I'm on the student council at Burton because I want Burton Mania to be fun and interactive again. I want us to be outside, running around instead of just playing these stupid carnival games. I know it seems trivial to some people, but it really matters to me that we still have fun and be safe. To solve this whole conversation, I think that people of all ages should be encouraged to change the world. But I think our youth is the best starting point. Thank you.